Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm going to do a deck review today and this is the Heal Yourself Oracle by Inner Seagal. This deck was kindly sent to me by the lovely people at Rockpool Publishing. So I'm truly grateful for having received this deck. I'm going to do a little deck review and walk through you today. Some of you may be interested in this deck for yourselves. Um, I've got to say, first of all, I really do love the cover of this box and the way it's like a halo around her head. And it says, intuitive guidance to transform your soul. And also these are like compass points. So I guess these cards could help you, you know, with direction in your life, for example, things you need to heal. Um, I really love the purple and the contrasting gold as well on the box. Really nice sturdy box as well. As you can see, it's produced by Rockpool Publishing. It includes 36 cards and a guidebook. And it says, transform your soul and heal your life. Um, it says, visceral, emotional and raw. The deck expresses both the lighter and the darker side of life. The cards access the higher states of awareness, as well as challenging emotions, thought patterns and energies that need to transform. They give insight into where you are in life and bring you closer to your true self. So it sounds like quite a good one that you could do for sort of daily practice, I guess. Now, this is another one that I love where it opens like a book. I love these type of boxes. <laughs> um, and as you can see, it says, open your heart and mind towards real transformation. Beautiful, rich purple there as well. We've got the purple ribbon. It brings us out the guidebook and then the cards. It's a really nice way to, to put everything together. I think. So we'll just leave the box there. Um, as you can see right away we've got the lovely gilded edges. It's sort of like a purple I think, purpley pink. I do love gilded edges as you probably know. <laughs> um, so they look wonderful. We'll look at those in a moment. Let's take a look at the guidebook first of all. Um, so we've got the title. And then the contents. Um, so it looks like the cards are numbered and then we've got the page numbers to reference there as well. An introduction. I'll just read you a bit that's standing out. It says, the cards give you insight into where you are in your life. They will magnify situations and show you the traits you may be subconsciously trying to disown. The purpose of each message is to bring you closer to your true self. Okay, so yeah, sort of inner work cards, I would say. Um, then we've got how to use the cards. So you could do a one card reading. So this card deck can be used daily. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Ask a question mentally, shuffle the cards, then pull out the card you feel drawn to. It says focus on the picture on the card and meditate on how it makes you feel and how the message relates to you. Then read the guidebook and complete the exercise associated with the card. Okay, so yeah, quite a sort of meditative practice, I guess. Um, then there's a three or four card reading you could do. And then we come to the cards. So we've, yeah, we've got a colour image and then the key message that's on the card, um, a little message for the reader and then an action point for the cards. And they go in order, they're numbered. So obviously we'll look at the cards in a moment. And then I think we'll pull a card at the end and then look in the book as well. 
So at the end we've got the author, the colour image of Inner. She's an internationally recognised healer, teacher, professional speaker, author and pioneer in the field of energy medicine and human consciousness. And then the illustrator, Chris Ortega, is a Spanish digital artist and writer. And then just acknowledgements at the end. So that's a nice little book, as you can see. So I've just zoomed in now, as you can see. Um, so hopefully we can see the cards a bit closer up. Um, so here's the back of the cards. Lovely design. And as you saw before, beautiful gilded edges. Um, they're a nice card stock as well, as per usual. Rock pool cards, I think they are very good quality and shuffle well. Um, they don't seem to be stuck together either. So let's have a look. Um, so they go in order, so as you can see, we've got the number one and then the keywords selling out. Now, these are beautiful images, as you can see, they really pop. Um, and I think you could probably get a lot from the image. It looks like this person's wounded here. Um, that's what's coming through to me there. We've got self-sabotage, so quite a sort of dark energy for that one. Some people might be in thinking negative thoughts, for example, attracting negative energies. Um, something else, by the way, just thought I'd add with Oracle cards. You probably noticed in my readings, I often use the cards at the end of a reading to sort of add an extra message. And also in my private readings, I do that sometimes. Um, so they're nice to sort of just add extra touches and messages from spirit. Okay, dreams. I love this one with the tiger. Beautiful. Could be a spirit animal. We've got sexuality. Now that's a really powerful image, isn't it? Um, you know, although there's a bit of nudity, there's power there and strength in that feminine energy. Another thing you've probably noticed is that they're borderless which I love in cards because it doesn't detract from the image. And I like the way they've just got this little um, keyword and the number at the bottom. So again, it doesn't sort of detract, but that's a beautiful image. You can see the sorrow there. Um, well, that's interesting because that's um, the cover image cycles and that's the way I was seeing it like a compass point or I guess here yeah, like a wheel we could see that as so beautiful image isn't it also she's looking to the past so learning from karmic cycles I would say with that one pride that reminds me of ego death there so yeah sort of removing the mask and um, coming out of the ego Got procrastination. How teachable are you? Yeah, how rigid are you? I guess could be something there to reflect on. Um, are you willing to change your mindset? Pay attention to signs. We've got an owl, it's beautiful. And the light, it's like you have the answers within, like the hermit. I love this one actually, um, take off your masks. I just love the mask, like a sort of carnival mask there and the ballet shoes, really beautiful. I'm just noticing the sort of vacant stare from this person as well. So it's like, you know, that's how she feels under the mask. So maybe with the mask on, she's got this happy outlook, but that's how he or she feels underneath. Victim consciousness. Yeah, again, quite a dark energy there. 
rejection. Soulmate, that's beautiful. I'm seeing that like that's the spirit of, of your soulmate. Um, potentially, you know, like you feel them with you or you feel they're on the way. Potentially. Wild. Wow, I love the reds in that one. Depicting passion. And sort of she's in a boat, so maybe it's a sign of like breaking free, being a bit wild, doing something a bit wild, I guess. Inner child, that's always a good one to to work on. Beauty. Oops. <laughs> I wondered if that would happen. Um, I'm going to leave that in. By the way, um, it's just getting, yeah, it's getting a bit, a bit too weighed down. It's quite interesting, isn't it, how that's come out there. Um, so maybe that's how some of you may be feeling, you know, um, if you are drawn to this deck. So we've got to say what you mean. So being honest with connections, people in your life. Temptation. So addiction, um, maybe overthinking. This is, like she's thinking of someone there. You might be tempted by an energy that could be karmic, for example. That's what's coming through there. Family and tribe. We've got a tiger again. Healing. Now that's interesting because she looks really sad and she's got this darkness coming out of her eyes. But she's holding the light there in her hands. So like... She can heal herself. We can heal ourselves, essentially. Have faith, and there's a cross, symbol of faith there, and burdens as well. So maybe looking for signs. Patience. Really beautiful images, aren't they? I have to say, um, I like them. They they really do pop. I think on camera, they they're looking quite good. Self love. Wow, I'm getting shivers actually from this one, because um, that's such a pure energy. Here's someone who's really started to love themselves, connect with the divine, and they feel a lot more be a lot better and, and healed. We've got alchemy. Yeah, you can manifest what you desire. It's like the magician. Letting go. Yeah, and quite dark energies there behind her. So things from the past you need to let go of, maybe. A mountain showing a big obstacle that maybe she's faced. Let's just move those out of the way as well. Help from above, yeah, and with the, the harp I'm getting like angels, angelic support. Love. It's like there's your destined one. You might see that person in a dream, for example, um, knowing that there's someone out there for you. Could also be a, a relationship that's on your mind with that card. Discover your life purpose. Yeah, violins, it could be music, light work. We've got courage. So finding that light that guides you forward, not being tempted by darker energies potentially or voices in your head. Unleash your creativity, that's interesting. Quite a busy card. I'm seeing like a robot there. Um, don't know what she's holding. A tool, maybe. So like the magician. Actually, I'm seeing there. Like invent your life. Be creative. 
phoenix rising. I love the light there. Sexual arts. It's quite fiery. And that's interesting because there's two energies there in the clouds. So again, I'm getting a very spiritual connection, sacred connection, um, where maybe you connect in dreams or telepathically. Entrapment. Wow, and that's interesting, there's a skull. So what I'm seeing there is someone who's stuck, but they have the sign there that they can transform their life. I'm seeing that like the death card in tarot. Then we've got home. And the last one, hole in the soul. Yeah, and she's wounded, wounded warrior, heartbroken potentially. Okay, so that's all the cards. What do you all think? Let us know if you wish um, in the comments. Now I'm just going to shuffle them for the first time. Um, yeah, they shuffle really nicely, really smooth shuffle. Um, and let's pick one card. So imagine we're doing a one card reading, picking a card for the day. Um, it may resonate for some of you, you never know, but just so we can look at the message in the book as well. Okay, yeah, so that one. And that's interesting, we got healing. <laughs> so that makes sense. Um, yeah, I'm quite interested to see the message actually for this one because of the light in her hands, which I assume is saying that you can heal yourself. Okay, so it says, illness and pain in your body, it's a message for you to slow down, look within and make important changes. If you're experiencing stress, feel overwhelmed, are suffering ailments in your body or feel exhausted and depressed, it means that your body is trying to communicate with you. Your body wants you to start treating it in a more loving manner and listening to the messages it is sending you. You need to become conscious of the areas in your life that you are avoiding or suppressing. Healing takes time, it is a process. Your first step towards healing is to create a safe, loving, supportive environment where you can listen to your inner wisdom. Yeah, that's very true. I often say that in my readings, some of you may know, um, that stress can manifest in the body in different ways. Um, and you'll find the more that you heal and ascend, the less you get these issues. Um, that's what I've found. And sometimes it can be ascension symptoms as well. So as I said, there's also... Um, I'm not sure if you can see this, sorry. There's also an action point that you can take um, linking to the cards. So it says, take a few deep breaths and relax your body. Place your hands on an area in your body where you have pain. Ask your body, is there a message you want to give me? This message may come to you as thoughts, words, images, insights, feelings, memories and so on. Say, I call on my divine healing intelligence to help release all pain, blockages and density from this area. Watch and feel as dense energy leaves your body. Imagine a green light moving through your body and repairing it. Gently bring your awareness back to normal and open your eyes. Yeah, so, you know, if we become aware of where it is, we can heal our, our, ourselves. Um, I've seen that like Reiki as well, which is something else you might want to consider, I guess. So there we go, everyone. I really hope you've enjoyed that little review and walkthrough. What do you think? Let us know in the comments, if you wish. Um, do you think you're gonna buy it? Do you have it already? Look out for it on the channel as well. It will feature in upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.